Hello everybody. I got some news. Yep. We finally got us another dog. We've missed Chief so much and so has Loki. Now everybody's missed having uh, a new member of the family. And we got a puppy last Friday at the at our Transylvania County Animal Shelter. And if you live in Transylvania County, it is absolutely an asset to our community. Uh, we've just been so much fun, but I'm telling you, having a puppy in the house is kind of like it's kind of like having a new baby in the house. And wait till you see her. Um, she is, she was one of a litter of six or seven that were dumped just a quarter of a mile from our humane society or from our animal shelter out in the field left to be eaten by coyotes or whatever. And when we got this little, little sweet thing, she was, um, one of three left and we ha we we're trying out some names so if y'all have any ideas there's a little girl and i got her right here in my lap this is what we're trying out is tulip look here tulip look here look at there look at this sweet face she is um we don't know what she is but we just did a dna test on her i think i'm covering up my microphone uh we did a we sent it off yesterday to see what she is. We don't know how big she's going to be. We don't know anything. So we're trying out the name Tulip. And we'll, she answers to it. She comes to me when I call her. And it's kind of sweet. She's just, she stayed in a kennel for, um, at night for many, a couple of nights. And then two nights ago, we, we let her stay out of the kennel and she did real good. She didn't make any messes and we're taking her outside. I'm getting lots of steps in because she is a rambunctious little, little, little sweet thing, but she likes, she likes the, she likes to chew on stuff. So I'm having, having to put my shoes in the bathtub that I keep in the bathroom so she won't get them. Uh, yesterday morning I got up. And I had my clothes all laid out and my I had my bra that I had worn the day before in the dirty clothes and she had grabbed it and curled up with it and was asleep with it when um, it was a cotton bra so it wasn't going to hurt her. So she was asleep with it on her little bed behind Robert's chair and she was just, you know... Is the sweetest thing. I didn't have the heart to take it away from her. So she's got one of my older bras as a security blanket. And she curled up with it again last night. And toilet is a sweet name. Yeah, well, Robert Robert has to find her little stink pickles when she, when she messes up. But he's got a good nose for that. But we're, she's just chewing me all to pieces. Anyways... I don't know if she's a hound or not. She got short ears. We're used to long-eared hounds. Um, oh yeah, she just she wants to chew my earrings. She wants to do anything, and she's she still doesn't smell right for the other do for Loki. He still kind of growls at her. She wants to play, and she chases him all over the house, and he doesn't want to do that because she still doesn't smell right. So. She's eating puppy chow, but we're going to start adding some of Loki's food in with her so that they kind of smell alike. And she's just gnawing up a storm. Anyway, <clears throat> that that's our lo latest addition to our little family. It took us a while. We got one dog, and she just didn't work out because she chased the cats and terrorized the cats. These cats don't seem to mind this little thing. We did get some... Uh, some nerve medicine for for Samantha that plugs into the wall that makes her calm down. So she's been coming out. Yeah, Robert calls them stink pickles. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to put her down now or she's going to eat me alive. And maybe she'll just curl up and go to sleep somewhere. Anyhow, she's a cuteness. She's cuteness. 
No telling what she's going to get into. I've done more yelling in the last... We've had her almost a week now. Six days. And... Whew. It wears you out. It just... Her her markings look a lot. They can be Beagle. They can be Doberman. They could be Rottweiler. They could be anything. She is does not have the face of a pit bull, though, which we're very happy about. We did not want any kind of pit bull in the family because we have kids around. But we're it's all good, and I'm learning to pick up some things. She has made paths in the house underneath the table and Robert put together a, an end table today for her that was a kennel Then she's already found it and gone into it and it's it's not for for locking her up but it's to ha her to have a place that's hers and, oh she's found a toy to play with so anyway it's never a dull moment I'm telling you it's just not when you add a new new member of the family I'm excited to train her up, and she's going to make noises, but we'll see. I'm happy, and Robert's happy. Robert's really happy, uh, and we've got new dog toys around, so we're having to do our routines and put the dog toys back in a place, and she drags them out. It's just like having a two-year-old around, but it's fun. And if you don't have a critter, you're missing out on on some sweet things in your life without a, with a critter around. It's just, it's wonderful. I've never really been around a puppy. I've always rescued dogs that were older. And it's just kind of a different little experience for me. Well, let, let's get back to back to basics. We've been doing back to basics now for working on 12 days and there's a link on our home page if you're jumping in here and we're on you know number 11 and you didn't see 1 through 10 I have a link set up on on the home page there's a bright chartreuse green little um, little image on the carousel that says back to basic and, and it takes you to a page that has all of the, the mission all the back to basics missions and all of the corresponding Ask Fly Lady questions that go with it. And oh, what's she into now? She's found something to chew on. Oh well. That link has all that there and I update it every night so that it's ready for the next day. And if you go to the blog post for Fly Lady and Ask Fly Lady, you can see the full archive and they're there too. As with, you can see everything I've ever posted on that full archive. So have some fun with it. And you can jump back in anytime you want to, to just kind of get your brain ready, thinking about things. Um, tulip, Tulip, Tulip. Oh well, she's found something to chew on. I don't know what it is. I'm going to see if she'll, <sighs> come here Tulip, Tulip, oh well, I don't think it can hurt her, it's a string on a basket, Tulip will keep you young, I've been walking around the driveway with her to get her to go do her business and it's been uh, quite interesting, I've been getting my steps in. <laughs> And it's fun, fun, fun. So she's learning her way around the house and and enjoying having a family. And the the cats and the cats and the dog won't play with her yet. And it's just it it's just come here. I'm glad the room is clean. So so back to basics. You know, one of the basic, if you just do five things of all this, pick out your clothes the night before, declutter some every day. When you get up in the morning, make your bed real quick and get dressed as soon as you can. Don't, don't lollygag around. Yes, we're expecting snow in Transylvania County. There is, oh, oh my, she's found the mop. I mop the floor. You got to keep the floor mopped with with a little puppy around. 
and she chased that mop all over the house when I was mopping. I was trying to, I had to go real fast to stay in front of her. It was the cutest thing. It, it's just, it's fun to be around a puppy. Yes, it does keep you young. Uh, we're expecting snow, one to three inches, I believe, but I don't expect to get much. But Sunday morning, we're expecting freezing rain, and that's a different story because we're surrounded by trees and we got to make sure the chainsaw is ready to go and all kinds of stuff. There's my brother-in-law. Hey, Jay. It's just, you know, it's always something when you live in the mountains. You want back up here? Come on. She's learned to climb up on Robert's chair. You want up here? You want back in my lap? Anyway, so back to basics. If you'll just start doing these little things. And one other thing you can do, let's say I think I was before bed routine, pick out your clothes, get up in the morning, make your bed, and get dressed as soon as you can. Uh, declutter every day. And this one thing is grocery, you know, getting groceries in the house, planning your menus for next week. She's found the litter box. I wonder if you can teach a dog to use a litter box. That would be that would be an amazing feat. Um, if you'll plan your menu for next week, then, oh yeah, we have lots of puppy pads. I bought some and Robert bought some. If you will plan your menu, so I'll get back on track in a second. No, ma'am. Tulip. Don't get it. No Cheeto. No chocolate Cheetos. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Robert's not here, so that's why I've got her in the room with me because I, I don't think there's anything in the living room she can get into. She really hasn't been in this room yet. Come here, puppy. Uh-uh. Oh, this is going to be too much. I don't know if I can, my stomach can stand it. <laughs> anyway, planning your menus and getting groceries in the house. And right now, flu is everywhere. It's all over this, you know, our whole country, United States. I don't know about the rest of the world, but it is everywhere. And going to the grocery store is germy. So this morning, I got to thinking about it. If you can use a service that brings the groceries to you or you go pick them up without having to, um, <clears throat> let's see, she wants up in my lap now. If you, if you can use a service that will put the, put the groceries, curl up and go to sleep. If you use a service that will put the groceries, you can pick them up. And Walmart has this service. Uh, my son's used it, <clears throat> and and I haven't used it yet because I live pretty far away from a Walmart that offers that service. But if you will use this service, you schedule a time that you want to pick your groceries up, and they'll and you go online and you order all of them, even produce. Yes, Tracy, we will pray for your daughter. This flu is is bad. Even young people, little little ones, it's just, just awful. So check out this new service from, from Walmart to, she's worrisome. She's chewing on me again. What have I got for her to chew on? I don't have a bone or anything here. I know what I got. I got a back scratcher. You want to play with the back scratcher? Keep you from chewing on me. Anyway, this is a great service. Liz got a li link for it, and <clears throat> we'll pu we'll put that in the the comments. But it's a great way for you to get the groceries in your house without exposing your your little ones to the germs on the on the carts and the germs in the you know just even in the air. So. Protect your little ones. Protect yourself from, from being in, you know, around these germs. I'm cooking more right now. Just before I was a little late getting getting on the show, I was <clears throat> getting ready for Super Bowl weekend. 
and I've made a a um, making some fresh bread now I don't eat a lot of bread but I wanted to make some dips and stuff and use some little bread balls around things and do some fun stuff with it and <clears throat> That's that's why I'm making the bread. I put together this. It didn't take long to throw it together in my little KitchenAid mixer and knead it up. And now it's going to rise when I get through with the show. I'll knead it again. And then um, you should see her, y'all. She's just chewing up a storm. Let's see if I can push this out so y'all can see her. She's just so cute. But she got sharp little puppy teeth. So we're we're getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Now, they, I used to be a big football fan. Uh, my husband has never been a football fan, but we watch the Super Bowl because that's just what we're going to do. It's just part of what I've always done, come up with the hors d'oeuvre meals. And I made a big pot of uh, pinto beans yesterday, and I'll make some bean dip or a... Um, a seven layer taco salad type thing, which I love that stuff. And, ooh, she's sharp. Get the stick. Go for the stick, not my finger. Yeah, go for the stick. Anyway, so we're going to, we're going to have fun with Super Bowl stuff and, and, and just enjoy our, ourselves. So won't be a big dinner, but it'll be lots of little hors d'oeuvres. One of the things he really likes is, is uh, <coughs> the cocktail weenies wrapped in bacon and cooked in the crock pot with some brown sugar. He loves that. Uh, we don't know what kind of puppy she is, but we're doing, we're doing the DNA testing. And she's set to be... Um, neutered and uh, spayed in February. Well, it is February already. Do you know what the habit of the month is? The habit we're practicing this month is to declutter for 15 minutes every day. That's all we ask, 15 minutes. Do five minutes in the morning. Do five minutes when you put your clothes away after you've done a load of laundry. She wants back up. Do five minutes when you've got... Um, I know. Uh oh, she got my earring. Uh, well, that's going off. <clears throat> oh, wow. Puppy breath. I guess mine smells bad to her, too. So. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to get down for a little while. That's a good puppy. Here you go. Go play with that. Um,. I forgot to tell you. <clears throat> we had we got the the extra large mop heads in. Let me see if I can get it reach it. That's what she was playing with a while ago. We got our extra large mop heads in, and we've got a big sale going on. You can buy the mop, the the extra large mop and and handle for. Uh, $22 and a penny. And I want to tell you something. When you're putting it together, you've got to totally unscrew this part before you put the handle on. Because it, it you have to jiggle it to get the handle to fit well. And then screw it down. But if you don't unscrew this thing all the way, you, you might have a little trouble. But unscrew it all the way and then it'll click right into place. And then you can screw this back down. But the sale on the mop head extends to all the different packages that this mop head's in. So we've got the del deluxe cleaning cleaning package. We've got the basic one for the extra large head. And you can save a lot of money. You can save a whole lot. And you got to use coupon code back to basics. To get your full discount. So have fun with that. So back to menu planning. Knowing what's for dinner. You know using post-it notes. 
to keep up with what you're eating for dinner is going to help you a whole lot and putting it on a ca- calendar. I saw a picture of a calendar uh, this week that the lady had the last three lines on the calendar calendar on each day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, you can come back up. Yeah, you. are you going to be good? No, she's not going to be good. She's not going to be good. She's going to bite me. It hurts. It really does hurt. Okay, settle down. Be good. Curl up. Be sweet. She's going to eat my microphone now. Let's go back down. It's like having a baby in the house. I'm telling you, she's just all over the place. So get your menus planned. Having those menus planned and getting the groceries in the house so you know what you're cooking. It is going to change everything. Because you're not going to feel like you have to go to, you have to do one more thing to get ready to go for dinner. And oh, she's making a lot of noise. She's found a bag that Sheets went in, a big heavy duty plastic bag. It's got a little cord on it. She thinks it's hers to play with. Oh, she's going to tear it all to pieces. This is just a disjointed show. I apologize, everybody. I think it's safer, though, with her in here with me. Because she's not ready to take her nap. I may have to take a nap when she takes a nap. Uh, Let's see. It's, It's just interesting having a puppy. It really is. So let's get back to basics. This decluttering every day. If you're having trouble with your routines, if you're having trouble with those routines, it's probably because you haven't gotten rid of your clutter. And if you will begin to get rid of your clutter, see if I can reach the door. Hold it a second, everybody. I've got a long cord, but let's see if I can reach the door without. Give me a second here. She hasn't figured out how to open the door yet. Okay, I'm back. I got the mop thing, right, a mop handle right here. And we'll lengthen it right here so I can show you how attaching this head works. Show and tell. Okay. So we got this part. So loosen it up right here. Loosen it all the way up. There, it's in there. You hear it pop? It's good to go. Let me show you what happens when you loosen it all the way up. These little these little things spread apart. And it goes over this little piece right here. And it just kind of fits into place. I think I told you wrong. Well, that didn't fit either. I had it before, and then I took it apart. It's not hard. It's just... I didn't get this tight enough, so it's sliding down on me. No, ma'am. You can't chew my cord. Not chewing the cord.
Give me a second here. I'm afraid it's going to fall and hit her. There we go. It's slipped in there now. See how it's all the way in there? And this thing's down here. You got to get it into the whole thing. And then tighten it up. I hope that helps. She thinks it's her toy. Where was I? Back to basics. Yep. Decluttering. That's our habit this month. So I want you to declutter something every day. Declutter for 15 minutes. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon. Five. If you get in this declutter mindset, you're going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. She's barking at Loki now. You're going to get rid of a bunch of stuff and it's going to make your life easier. Your routines much easier for you every day. Because when, when you're suffering with all of this chaos in your life, it's because you have too much stuff. Too much stuff. I'm getting announcements on my phone. Drives me nuts while I'm try trying to do the show. Anyway, let me pull this. She wants to play with Loki, and Loki won't play with her. So, de getting clutter off your hot spots, you know, just five minutes in the morning, five in the afternoon, and five in the evening. It, and we've all got five minutes here and there. When you're cooking dinner, pull a few things. You know, we've been taught to clean out a drawer, to dump it all out on the counter or on the kitchen table. Don't do that. Go in and precisely pluck five items out of that drawer that you don't use anymore. Just five items. When you put things away in your closet, get rid of five things you haven't worn in a while. That's going to make room. When you get something new, throw, get rid of something old. You're going to feel so much better. You're making room in your closet for the things you use all the time. So if your clutter is driving you crazy, you got to start to get rid of it. Now, I got a testimonial from somebody last night, and she was saying that she had read that someone, someone um, suggested, I don't know who suggested this, but someone suggested that in, to get rid of your clutter, to pack it all up, except what you really want, into uh, boxes and put it in the garage or in a storage container or, or someplace. And then in three weeks, if you hadn't wanted anything out of that, all of that, to, to just give it all away. Well, the thought of doing all that in one night would give me a heart attack. And a lot of people would feel, a lot of people would feel um, assaulted in, in some form or fashion because, you know, taking your security blanket away, and I've seen that with this puppy, you know, taking the security blanket away gives them, um, it makes them anxious. And we don't want to make people anxious. I want you to, you know, declutter in baby steps because it's the baby steps that, um, it's the baby steps that make it seem almost like you're not doing it at all. Just do a little at a time, and you're not going to feel like somebody has stolen from you. If somebody came into your house and packed everything up, you would start twitching all over. And it's not a fun way to feel. It really isn't. I want you to enjoy the process so that you're not totally blown away by what I'm telling you to do. You know, dumping everything in a storage unit makes just makes things so much harder for you because then you got to go back through all that if you miss some because you know organizing people they put all your stuff into nice pretty boxes rubber made bins uh shelves and you know they put a bin and then if we do it we don't label anything so we can't find anything and then we start looking for something and that something we're looking for, those boxes and bins just throw up all over the house and it looks twice as bad. So don't do that to yourself. Don't do that. 
just precisely pluck five items out of a drawer. I like having a pointer. This is fun. I know when, when we're, we keep one of these in the car when Michelle and I are going places. And she'll, she'll get to singing and she'll direct the music. She'll be the orchestra director with our little back scratcher. <clears throat> so have fun with the process. Don't, don't beat yourself up that you're not doing enough. If you get rid of one thing a day, that's in 30 days, you've gotten rid of 30 things. I know we got Lent coming up. Uh, when is um, Fat Tuesday and and the Lenten season p supposed to start? It's 40 days till Easter, and I don't know when Easter is. Somebody, if you can find out, where, find out when it is. A lot of people for Lent get rid of a bag of clutter a day. Imagine that. 40 bags of clutter gone in 40 days. That's, that is a huge, a huge way to get rid of things. So Easter is April the 1st, so 40 days. So um, Lent starts, what day does Lent start? For Valentine's Day. Wow. So getting rid of clutter, a bag of clutter a day. You can get a head start on it. You can get a head start on it for um, a head start to get rid of your clutter. Getting rid of the clutter a bag a day for 40 days. It, you get in the habit of doing it. So let's eliminate clutter. I mean, I found some clutter this past week. I told Robert we needed some dog shampoo and he went down in the basement and lo and behold, we had two bottles of dog shampoo. Well, it was old and I'm not going to use old dog shampoo on a puppy. I'm just, I'm scared, you know. So I got her some new puppy shampoo that's, you know, doesn't get in the, make her eyes water or anything. And I took, because I was out of anything to put in my toilet bowl mixture to keep my rubber swisher in. Wow, she's got sharp teeth. I was out of stuff. Uh, and so I took those old bottles of dog shampoo and dumped them in, in my crock that I keep. My toilet bowl brush, it's a big vase. And I dumped them in there and filled those bottles back up with water to rinse them out for the recycle bin. And now I'm cleaning the toilet with old dog shampoo. Soap is soap. Don't ever forget it. Soap is soap. Well, you're having, having kitties hitting the keyboard. I got a, a little dog biting my, my hands and fingers. I got scratches I didn't know I had. She just wants the cord now. She's such a sweet dog. I think she's going to be a good companion for Robert going out in the woods. I think she'll be a loyal, a loyal puppy. It's good to have a critter around. Anyway, back to decluttering this month. Please get rid of your clutter. When you're cooking in the kitchen, reach in there and get some things you hadn't been, those gadgets you never use. And get a box and start putting stuff in this box and don't drag stuff back out of it. And then it, as you declutter during the day, put it in a bag and take it out to the car and you can donate it next time you're out. Uh-oh, Samantha just saw the, just saw the puppy. I think he wants to chase Samantha. Samantha's the, the scaredy cat we have. He's not paying attention to her. That's good. She's not. What you doing? So declutter something every day and, you know, get back to basics. Get up, get dressed in the morning. As fast as you can. If you've got little kids. Oh, I forgot. You, you posted some questions on Facebook. Liz gathered them up for me, and I have them in my hot little hand. Let me see if I can read them. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting up before my kids to get through my morning routine. What do you suggest? Well, my suggestion is 
Don't do your whole morning routine before the kids get up because you're missing an opportunity to teach your children things. But you get up and get dressed before the children get up. If you get that done before you before the kids are um, out up and about, then if you get your shower, I mean, I know I have a friend who's a new mother and she successfully took a shower in the morning with her oldest preschooler in the bedroom and she's got the shower, she's got the bathroom door open. She's put the baby, the infant, brand new baby, in a, 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 in a, a little rocky seat and the older one is watching something on the TV and she's peeking her head out the shower door every two seconds, <laughs> but she's getting a shower. Now, getting up 15 minutes before the flow of the family and having your clothes picked out, that's half the battle. So pick your clothes out and then you can get dressed while cooking. Now, another thing you can do is take your shower the night before. Now, when you get up in the morning, <clears throat> you may have to, you may have to wet your hair to keep it from, you know, chicken head. Mine, I get chicken head. So, and then do the rest of your routine as you're running around the house, get the kids involved with you. I got some wonderful pictures this morning of people letting their kids help them with their morning routine. There were some washing dishes and, you know, yeah, they were playing, but why not let them play? It doesn't have to be punishment and have a good time. I'm now, I'm a chew toy again, just another chew toy. You want to say, say bye to them? Yeah, you want to chew on my glasses. She was almost eight pounds when we got her. So next week, I'll tell you how much she weighs. Robert's going to weigh her. She likes my shoes, but I don't want her chewing on my boots. <clears throat> She's really trying to. So get up, get dressed. Just a little before. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Any tips? On kids' bathrooms, I feel like toothpaste and spit splashes are everywhere all the time. Well, you got to teach your children to hit the sink. That you got to teach them how. They got to watch you brush your teeth and show you show them how to hit the sink, and then have have a stack of washcloths, white washcloths that you can buy a dozen for five dollars. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at, at the dollar store. You can get them at, at Walmart. Get these white washcloths and then teach them and have a hamper for them and teach them how to wipe the sink out and wipe the countertop and have a place to put their... I don't know what she's chewing on now. Oh, the little pad that's on the, on the bottom of the chair legs. She can't get it. But have those washcloths in there for them to dry their hands but you once they dry their hands they can wipe the sink out so get your kids washing their hands and using those individual washcloths to dry their hands and just show them how to do it after every time they wash their hands or brush their teeth to wipe the sink out and then put that put that washcloth in a hamper now, you may want to wash them every day if they're really wet and, and get them laundered and back in there again. Okay, next question. When you're behind and have so much to do, my question is, how do you do it so you're still enjoying life and thinking about other things other than cleaning, kids, cooking, and not obsessing about getting it all done. Put on some wonderful music. I live for my music. I have, I have playlists that are for writing. I have playlists for getting things done in the house. I have playlists for inspiration, inspirational playlists. Get the music going. Your mind will be on the music and your body will be going through the motions of what you need to get done. Another fun way to do this is to take a piece of paper 
and list six things that are priority and then tear them apart, put them in a bowl and pick one and go and do it. Get your music going and go and do this stuff. Don't obsess about it. Just one thing at a time. Stay focused. It's the running around trying to do everything at once is what wears you out because you don't see any success. And you, if you've made a list, you can, you can roll a dice and you number them one to six, pick one thing. And eventually you're going to get them all marked out. And then if you need to make another list of six things, don't do 12. Just, unless you're having a big party and you got a big list of things to do. That's what I do on Thanksgiving. But just six things. It, we call it Fly Lady Mingo. It's fun. You can get some stuff done and love it. Just love it. And not not play the martyr. See, this playing the martyr that you're the only one that ever cooks and cleans and takes care of the children. You got to stop doing that to yourself because that ruins your marriage. Another thing I want you to do, you know, we got Valentine's Day coming up and there's a lot of heart stickers everywhere. I want you to get a pad of heart stickers or make you some on your computer if you want to. If you like to get creative or draw a bunch of hearts on some post-it notes and cut them out. Get the kids to cut them out and put a heart sticker on every Friday to remind you that it's date night. And if you don't have a significant other a husband or a wife then make it a time that you spend with your friends that you get somebody to stay with the kids you, you trade off with somebody and you know have you've got to remind yourself or you're not going to do it but if it's on the calendar it'll get done so do that it, you're gonna your marriage is gonna get better i know my Son and his wife, they took some time off at Christmas. They'd had a house full of company. It was just, you know, they needed a break. Plus, their anniversary is the 19th of December. So they went down to South Florida and had a good time in South Florida. It might become a tradition for them. We kept the dog and we picked the kids up at camp and... It was it was fun for us. It was fun for them. They 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 were replenished, and you got to take care of your marriage. You really do. So get some heart stickers up and remind yourself every Friday, she's back. That um, that it's date night. Yeah, it's sweet. It just wants to chew on me. I'm going to bring a bone in here next week if I have to be in here by myself. I may have to change the day I do my show so Robert can babysit her. Okay, next question. Uh, I've been swishing and swiping the sink and the toilet. How do I fit the tub into my daily routine? Well, if you're in the tub, that's when you clean the tub. So if you're taking a shower every day, take uh, two minutes while you're putting the conditioner on your hair and use that time to scrub a one foot area of your shower. And you can use one of those scrunchy things that you make lots of lather. And the soap scum that is on your shower doors and on the walls of the shower is soap. So utilize that soap as being already there and take the scrubber mm. or a purple rag and mm. what are you doing? A purple rag and rub just one foot area. Eventually you'll get it all done and then you can keep it clean with um, the, the rubber scrubber or the the rubber sweeper has a little squeegee side on it and you can squeegee or just buy a dollar squeegee at the at the dollar store and you can squeegee the water off the walls and you will have a clean shower but you do it while the kids are in the shower or while the kids are in the tub use the same stuff that you put on your body to clean your shower with because that's the soap that's on 
That's the soap that's on the, on the walls. She's got the legs of my pants now. Robert teaches her bad habits, I'm just here to tell you. She wants to run off with the mop. She's trying to take the mop cloth off the mop head. She is a mess. Anyway, it can't hurt her, and I'm here with her. She likes those little fingers on the mop cloth. She really does like them. I bet she might do tug tug. She's not interested. Anyway, so that's... You fit it into your routine when you're in the shower. You don't have to make a special time to do it. You don't have to bend over. I mean, every night when I get out of the tub, before I get out of the tub, I take a purple rag that I have in the tub and just wipe down the walls with a little bit of the soap that I've used on my hair. Just a drop. That's all it takes. And wipe it down and it's all good. Uh-oh, we got Tug Tug going. Oh, she likes this. Uh oh, she's got it. She won. Uh, next question. Having trouble getting white water stains off of the furniture. Well, number one thing, you need coasters. You wouldn't have water stain. Uh oh, that's the mop handle that fell. If you have coasters and you use the coasters, then you don't have the white water stains. But I'm going to tell you a little secret. Use toothpaste. You're going to be surprised. Smear some white toothpaste on the ring and then buff it off. And it will get rid of the ring. I've also used mayonnaise and it works. I don't know why it works, but it works. I wouldn't use WD-40 on the sink because it's, it, I mean, the toilet and the shower. Because in the shower, it's slick. So I wouldn't use it in the shower. And I wouldn't use it in my kitchen sink. Because we don't know what it's made of. But you can use a little olive oil on, in, your, in your kitchen sink. And it works. Uh, that's, that's my suggestion for, for, um, for the water stains. A little bit of toothpaste. Let me know if it works for you. After shining your sink for the first time, does drying it out every time keep it clean? Well, yeah, unless you clean, you know, wash a chicken in your sink, then you do need to sterilize it again. Once you've done it one time, you don't have, you've gotten it really clean, and you may need to do it once or twice a year. Maybe you want to do it once a month, but a little scrubbing every now and then doesn't hurt anything, but you don't have to do Shiny Sink 101 every night. You just don't have to do that. But I dry my sink out every time I use it, and then I put the, the d dirty dish rag, I have a place that I lay them until they dry, and then about once uh, every two weeks, I do a load of dishcloths. Next, next question. How do I get the crud off of my burner grates? Well, is your oven a self-cleaning oven? Can you turn your oven on and put the grates in there and clean them? That's one way. You get the same kind of uh, crud on iron skillets, and I tend to like to put them in my self-cleaning oven when I clean my oven. I don't clean my oven often, but you can also soak them in your kitchen sink in some vinegar and that'll help get rid of it or in a pan with a kitchen sink in the sink with with your grates on them they're iron I don't think you can hurt them but you want to get them clean get some SOS pads and just put some elbow do one a day don't try to kill yourself getting them all done and you'll have, you'll be surprised at how much you can get done just scrubbing a little bit. I got another tip for you. I have jets in my bathtub. And sometimes you get little areas around the jets that look bad. I keep a rubber scrubber in my bathtub. And what, what I've learned to do is once I get out of the tub and I've got a tub full of hot water, 
I throw a couple of um, dishwashing dishwasher pods in my tub and set my timer for an hour and I let it just clean the inside of the jets and stuff and it, it does a real good job that's all the questions I have I have a dog pulling my my the leg of my pants she just seems real happy to do that I don't know why but she is she really wants to get my boot you know, it's winter time and I like my ankles covered up in the winter time. I have lace up boots, but I wear them in the snow. But I have some zip up boots that I wear every day and I love them, but she does too. She wants my pant leg. She gets underfoot too. Well, y'all have a great week. Test out this Walmart shopping link we gave you. I think it's a great way to get groceries in your house. I think there's some good prices on, on things too. And look forward to Tulip's updates. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see if she doesn't take a bite out of my leg. <clears throat> She's, ooh, she really tries. Have fun and get some things done this week. Declutter every day. I want to I want to hear what you're decluttering. Send me a little note that says I'm decluttering and you know say say a little prayer for Tracy's daughter. She's got the flu and keep your kids away from other kids that have flu. I mean keep you away from people that have the flu. Staying out of the grocery store and staying home by cooking is going to help a, a lot of that. Let's just kind of quarantine ourselves. I think that's what helps at our house is just to stay home as much as we can. And we're going to get some bad weather coming in. That means I'm going to be in a cooking mode, especially with the, here I am with one earring off and one earring on. I don't know if you can hear her barking, but she is having a fit. She's probably barking at Loki. Well, y'all have a good week. Root, I'm not for anybody during the Super Bowl. I like the Philadelphia Eagles because I like my flag. But I'm not rooting for them for the Super Bowl. I just like to see a good game. And let's enjoy ourselves. Let's get stuff done so we can sit down and watch the commercials and, and have a good time. You know, it's a family time of doing things. Are You want, you want to come say bye? Come here. No, she's not going to come and say bye. Come here. You want to come say bye? Yeah. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> she going to bite her own. Oh. Oh, oh no. I got dogs barking all over the world. Well, y'all have a good, good day. I'm going to go in there and make some bread and put it in the oven. I've got some sourdough bread stuff making. And we're going to have some fun. Tell everybody bye. Yeah. It's been fun today, y'all. See you later. Next week. Bye, Tulip. Yeah. She's a sweetie. See ya. If I can get this to finish.